Welcome to Tea Time on Plus TV Africa, where we bring you the biggest entertainment stories. My name is Elsie Godrin, and I'm here with Ewa Oritu and Ife Oluwa Oshoka here. Hiya. What's good, my people? How are you doing? The yeah. year to the young and the young. I see yeah. you guys are doing white today. Oh, yeah, babe. And I had to That's really go deep into black uh, so they will know that I'm not doing You have some animal skin in you. Are you... you know. <laughs> <laughs> God. Mm. I didn't see that coming. <laughs> At all. But anyway, we are starting yeah. with good news as Kevin yeah. Hart has been released from the hospital. I'm going yes. straight to TP. So, yeah, but at least it's good news. That's after mm. 10 days. I just I just love the uh, the health healthcare system and the possibilities like that are endless, you know. It, it gives me joy for them. Yeah. Mm. For them. Mm -hmm. Am I dear? Are you not supposed uh, to be advocating for our country to be in that standard? We've had, have we not We've done that been already? For Me that. saying it now, is it not also advocating? advocating? Oh, yeah, advocating. Okay. Um, I think um, the Nigerian government should um, <laughs> focus on the healthcare system in Nigeria for the upfront time. I'm going to be saying this because um, at the end of the day, we see people with um, very minor accidents and they end mm. up dying because mm. of our. Or they end up on the wheelchair. Field. Mm healthcare system or amputated legs, mm. amputated hands and stuff like that. We don't need that to be happening in this time and age. So please, President Muhammadu Buhari, Vice President Yemi Oshimbanjo, Oshibajo, Oshibajo mm. kindly focus on our healthcare system. And as well as all the people in the um, senatorial seats, please tr try passing bills for, and as well as the local government chairman, in as much as um, you're in that position of power, mm. focus on your local government, make sure and that the healthcare, healthcare system, system mm -hmm. is done properly. Please, we are not doing shakara, we are begging you people, please, please. come to our rescue. Because if things like this are happening in the Western culture that we always try to emulate all the time, mm. it doesn't speak well of us now having to travel. We've had our president travel over. No disrespect to you, President Muhammad Dubari, but mm. um, you've, traveled, you've traveled several times <laughs> just for you to go and get your health checked and stuff like that. But you can actually do that in Nigeria if we put the right focus where the right focus should be. Mm. So please, we are begging, we are begging, we are on our knees. I'm sitting, but I'm on my knees in my mind. Spirit. <laughs> please, help us. Okay, mm -hmm. do you want to add more? Yeah, this is thing I read online about mm. this Kelvin story that is probably exaggerating because his recovery is too quick. I just I'm not that's I'm not saying it I'm just saying I read like people have been giving different opinion like he hasn't come out to express um, himself and uh, like to show himself make a short video or something and people are saying it's so unusual of him he would have at least come to thank his fan for their support if he's having that quick recovery I know people are saying it, it probably exaggerated is um the seriousness Those of this people injury. are not okay because <laughs> they look at the car crash of, you um, won't even me, think anyone me. is exaggerating yeah, no, no, yeah, no. Like I, I get where you're coming that, from as well. That, um, if it made me lost my train of thought, uh, okay, that he probably exaggerated the cost of insurance, so we get more settlement. That's why I just read it. Insurance and, like, and you talking about your health, they are two different things. Insurance is probably on the car. If mm -hmm. he has a you life, no, if like, he has a life insurance, um, life insurance is actually when you die. Do you understand? It's not why you're alive. So there's nothing like life insurance coming into play in all of this. Do you understand? So if it's about the car, I don't think you need to exaggerate because they're seeing it. We all saw the car. The car is a write-off. There is no way you can tell me. So if he has I read, like, I read like a lot of things. Yeah, and yeah, people was, speculate. People even, um, there was this one I read about. I don't know if you saw. The same yeah, before. that his bouncer yeah. took him out and then uh, one was person probably was the, left. He was the one driving mm. and he was drunk driving. So, so just so. They're trying to cover it up. Yeah, they're trying to cover it The, the investigation is actually ongoing mm. and we're trying to find out if um, Kevin, um, was the one driving because right now it's still speculation like um was his driver that was driving or it was kevin himself that was and people driving. are like if it was that if the injury was that serious how did he manage to just 
you know, escape the scene of the accident and all of that. But it's just what I read. I don't know how true it's, that um, is. It's, look, there's something called adrenaline. In the heat of the moment, you get so, you don't even know the magnitude of injury you have until you get to the hospital. At that point in time, your survival instincts comes into let, play. Let, if I, let's, I'm not saying I believe them, but I'm just trying to... <clears throat> because no, 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 no. If, I get where you're coming from. injury is spinal, yeah? Yeah. I mean... Spinal is not that your spinal cord broke. I know, but... Do you understand that you it cannot be like a surgery. It's a fracture. And it's not like they're saying they're Three scheduling fractures. the surgery. Yeah. It's been done. And now he's leaving the hospital, and I'm glad Ife mentioned that he's going into. It's like he's leaving it to go mm -hmm. home. Yeah, no. he's not going home. He's going straight so, to Bia. No, I totally I, understand, I really don't understand where therapy. those people are coming from. It's I don't even want to go there because it's this is why I say I stay away from all these theories until mm -hmm. it becomes the like reason the news why I'm saying this. And it comes into proper platforms, then I will know. Okay, maybe. I should pay attention true. to this conspiracy. The reason but why right I'm saying now, this... I'm happy he's alive. That's yeah, I'm very, I'm very happy that he's doing well. And he's the reason why improving. I'm even saying is this is because I was in a car crash April 12, 2009, and my four airbags came out. And it wasn't until I got to the hospital and they did multiple x-rays that I actually realized what was going on in my body. But I walked out of that accident scene just because of the survival instincts mm -hmm. that was in me. There was this woman that I didn't know from Adam that went on her knees and started singing praise and worship because everybody thought whoever was in that car was dead. dead. But here I am today. I'm a living testimony to that. Do you understand? So survival instincts sometimes gets you through a lot. Do you understand? You never, you'll be feeling the pain, but your mindset is telling you I need to the to get to the hospital, I need to get checked up. I need mm. to make sure everything is all right. So survival instinct is sometimes. You. I just so want to will... throw it on the table and see yeah. what people have to say okay. about it. Yeah, so moving on to the next story. Rihanna takes New York Fashion Week into um, the streaming age. Uh, the singer turned designer, uh, she blended music, fashion and culture with special appearances from top models. The earliest guests were banned from using their phones after Amazon Prime Video back the rights to stream it. I think this is the first time this is ever happening, mm. and it's taking the um, fashion New York Fashion Week to a whole new level, level because mm -hmm. I mean after this one you get to see the next one now it will be like a serious bid of um, who is going to get the rights to stream um, this event. I think it's going to go live on the twenty eight on the twentieth of September. I think that's next week Friday. Mm. Mm. Yeah, so um, we we'll look forward to that, and I love the. Should I call it the business game these people are playing? Like everything Rihanna. and anything. I mean, yeah, Rihanna mm -hmm. is on that path. We also have what's her name, um, Kim, um, Kim, right? Okay. Also having a lingerie. Ariana line. Grande. Ariana Grande. Like they are just using their influence to build an empire. And I like it's awesome. I like Rihanna because she understands that you can't do two things at the same time. So she, at a point, she's focusing on this, mm -hmm. and then the next moment she's she focusing on, focus the on the other thing. One. And it's as if she's totally dropping that one. She'll and come that, back to she it. comes back to it, and I like the way she's all about it. And she's giving us new, new things, and I'm really impressed. Mm. If I what you have to say on this? Okay, so um, <laughs> about this, I like um, Rihanna's creativity. Mm. The fact that um, she goes. And she thinks outside the box. Do you understand? Now, Amazon got the right to stream this live on their platform. And um, even everyone that was there, they said they pulled their phones in a sealed bag. And some of them are even grateful for it because they said it was an iconic show. Mm. Because um, it took them back to the traditional um, fashion catwalk shows. Mm. Do you understand? Because... She actually focused, and one thing I really admire about Rihanna is that she's not focusing on the slim size model, plus size model. She's not focused on whether you're pregnant, whether you have stretch marks, whether you have this, whether you're short, whether you're tall. Mm. She puts everyone together, does a lingerie line, and makes sure that everyone is on point, everyone is being carried along. Now, that is something that is so beautiful. Because I said that um, 
Victoria's Secret has been going through a lot of backlash because they don't do a lot of fashion shows mm -hmm. and stuff like that. But Rihanna, with her line, she's been able, with Fenty, she's been able to cross across, um, cut across all boards mm -hmm. and try to make something iconic. So we'll be anticipating the 20th, and I bet on the 20th we'll be on the stable discussing how it went because by then we would have probably seen it all on the mm -hmm. 21st. You understand? Okay, on the 21st is a Saturday, so we won't be we'll here. Definitely I'm sure it will be a great we'll show. I really discuss. can't wait to watch it. And then if you, see, if you see um, the age where um, she's going now, she's taking it to another level because um, social media, technology, and um, the social space, the technological space is the future. Now, everyone, not everyone and everybody will come to your show anymore. Before, fashion shows were about... Wow, those that are there, do you understand? But right now, she's not concerned about who is there. It's open to the whole world. So as long as you're able to stream on Amazon, you'll be able to get an exclusive into this fashion show, which is something different from the ordinary because people are usually concerned about who is there. Oh, is this a um, fashion icon well, I there? I think who is but there is still very relevant important. and important. Just mm -hmm. that this is going to open into more audience, like you said. So the people coming down to sit down and analyze these things are actually, they definitely have to pay attention now, to that. why them. I said who is there really doesn't matter anymore is because whether you're there or not, you would, ha you would have access access to it but most um i don't know yeah like, it, i may, I may be wrong but part, most yes um, but no you no. will have limited coverage now amazon okay you might be talking about limited coverage, coverage yes but i was going They're to say going to that most wrong way shows at the end of the day you get to watch it later yeah but you probably watch 10 TV. minutes of a two-hour show Mm, two hour you, show, not, yeah. Not all the time. No, not all the time, but I'm saying, are you actually going to watch a two hours um, runway show? Do you understand? No, like, if, you can, you? if you can actually sit down to stream it two hours, then when it's available on a fashion show, you also watch it. Yeah, I mean, people yeah, watch. Also, I, I, was going to, the, I actually get you your point, though, yeah. because it's a case of this um, event is now very open to a wide number of people, mm. and if you're ready to watch it, you watch it. But all I'm saying is, it doesn't take away the element that comes with the caliber of people. You have gathered there in this um little one they have you have to show about shouldn't, the -list, um, shouldn't have even been about who is there and who is not no it's it is exhibiting. because it is business and right. at the end of the day you're selling your market to mm. those that that, that can take that, it, buy it to yeah. where it's supposed to be sold but you know, fashion so is not supposed business. to be programmed to a certain sect of people it's supposed to be for everybody so i'm supposed to have access to the new fashion and not you know just there are some certain fashion if you can buy it you know, <laughs> no, you know fashion are, is categorized mm. right so there are some type of fashion that is not for you it's just not for you, the right? Way, everything and there are some yeah. that is not for me, right? Because there are some things it's, that you see on that wrong. Everything way looks you know good on me. Don't never... worry, you can tell everything. Looks okay. Good on anyway, me, right? it's time for a quick break. <laughs> but when we return, um, it will be time for some relationship conversation. We'll be right back. <laughs> It's the hottest entertainment stories coming up right here, right now. This is Tea Time. Thank you for the tea. Between yourself and Emma, I always the best rapper. I'm the best rapper. It might be maybe second after Magneto. Oh, oh, nice. 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 Teddy's going to fry my brains if you saw this. <laughs> <laughs> Give me your account number, I'll make a transfer. You get the money? Yeah. <laughs> I started getting scared when Yoruba boys started saying, you know, we worry people. One thing is certain. If you are good, my dear, mm -hmm. you are good. My uh, kind of person, I'm not ready to cry look, over look, any man. You know you look like Jerul, no? Uh, a lot of people say that. Yeah, just the looks, that's all. Mm -hmm. Not the account. Just just wow. <laughs> Welcome back. Um, Adha Slim is asking why Nigerians enjoy celebrating crashed marriages. And for me, I, I do not understand what she's talking about or where she's coming from because uh, I don't think Nigerians celebrate crashed marriages. Yes, it's, it's, for me, it's a case of um, in every aspect of life, bad news travels faster than good news mm. but when it comes to celebrities which i want to believe that is where she's coming from because you 
if we are an ordinary mass marriage crash on the road, nobody nobody, cares. nobody knows or cares. Mm -hmm. These same celebrities are the ones that we go all out to make their beautiful day trend. Mm. We are interested in, oh, how are they looking? I remember when Adesua and Banky got married, it trended for two whole days. Mm. And it was not Twitter only, two it was Twitter. Two <laughs> like no a week. Twitter and Instagram. And that's to show you how happy people were for them. Mm. Look at Teddy A and Bam Bam. Yes, so there yeah, are people Abraham. who are having their conversations and saying, I mean, the naysayers and all, but people are genuinely happy for them. Mm. Tony Abraham, you mentioned, I mean, she trended so much and I was wondering, should you marry you or not? <laughs> so people are genuinely happy. But after this joy and um, expectation, because we have an idea of how we believe marriage should be, supposed to be forever, for mm. better, for worse, no divorce is not, you know. And then at the end of the day, you realize that maybe in two years, three years, four years, five or even ten, they tell you they are done. I mean, people will also talk about it. Six months. Right? So, I, I don't think we celebrate crashed marriages. Like, I don't, personally, I don't believe that. Mm. Do you want to go? Yeah. I totally agree with everything Elsie has said because, like she said, let's, let's bring it down to like the small community, mm -hmm. just family. If somebody should get married, everybody's excited. But then once the marriage crash, they try to hide it. Exactly. Then. They try to hide it because. It's not as if you want to say something bad or you mean bad for that person or you're really happy that but the marriage... There's already a perception. But yeah, the but failed. it's just normal that you'd be like, oh, what happened? And I don't think Nigerians are even happy when um, people's marriage um, home gets broken. Because in the comment section, you see people really concerned, asking questions. Oh, what happened? Mm -hmm. Why did you do this? Why so did you do that? So you plan making me scared of getting married, but I really, you get, want but I, get I really want to get married. None of these things will stop me. I, I honestly don't think Nigeria... Because we don't even want it. It's not our thing. It's not our culture. Exactly. Like it's not usually our, yeah, it's not a culture. I don't think Nigerians celebrate um, broken marriage. We're always excited when somebody's getting, especially as celebrities. Because, yeah. I mean, I see people posting pictures and you videos. Want, do you, do you, you know, know the person? Do you get uh, I Honestly, I don't know where she's coming from. I think she's just talking about people coming to comment on it. But if your life is already out there, if you if we celebrated your marriage... And it crashed. Uh, and it I mean, comes out. We'll talk about it. Talk I'm about sorry. It. If you said you, don't, you agree with her. Well, I'm going to go off the back of um, life happens. Mm. In as much as people fall in love and we think that um, the union is so beautiful and it's something we should celebrate, there's really no problem with that. But the moment the marriage crashes, it's more like the bloggers are ready to carry it and let you know that mm -hmm. um, this is what is going on right now. Do you understand? Mm -hmm. But during their marriage and doing all of that, mm -hmm. they come out like, oh, this person and this person. And then you start hearing rumors. Um, it's because of um, it's cheating. It's because of this going on. It's because it's um, violence. It's because mm -hmm. it's this. Which is why we say that they give more attention to it when it is broken than when it is celebrated. Bam Bam and Teddy A got married over the weekend. Today is Thursday. And we don't hear anything about your marriage anymore. It's I not understand. It's not the only movie then. It's not in the news anymore. But I'm telling you that if it was a crash, there will be update story. She has moved out of the house. She has removed his name from my Instagram. Because there's because usually now, supposed to be follow up when things like that happen. It's a bam bam and Teddy now. <laughs> Why when don't we have follow up like, oh, they're now they've in traveled. the Bahamas they're having their serious They're not traveled, they're here. They're here. Mm. Are you sure about that? Uh -uh. Well, yeah, they're here. Very sure. They've not done the work. It's introduction. Mm -hmm. Are you very sure that they are in the country? Anyway. Honest, I feel like if it's trending, it's trending. It's not like... And if something if you, bigger if comes up, yes. we move on to the next conversation. That's how the social media conversation is. It's trending. People will talk about it. I'm sorry. This, you can't help it. I'm just trying to let you know that it's a human thing for people to celebrate your failure. No, no, I don't, no, no, I don't no, no, believe no. that. My, uh, not, it doesn't no. even... I don't think it, um, it's, you, we can apply it to I mean, the there is a contest mm. and there's something we are talking about mm -hmm. and we are talking about celebrity marriages right now. So... I would not even sit down here and I know we have trolls. I know we have people mm -hmm. doing all sorts on social media just but to get to say Nigerian. But to say that we generally like even not saying Nigerian, say we generally on social media try to celebrate crashed marriages. No, I don't believe that. I the don't great agree. um late Tupac Shakur said you always see my, my glory but never saw the struggle. 
Do you understand? Mm -mm. I buy will she will it. <laughs> Rel relax. It's, you asked me if I understand now. Nah. I'm no, answering you. Wait now. When I say it's a rhetorical question. Oh, so what are you going, going to do this morning? Um, <laughs> it's a rhetorical question. We need question to move on because though. A lot of people see your glory, mm. but they don't see the struggle. Mm. Now, when the struggle is going on, they peak on all of that way more than the glory. Mm. Do you understand? Because it is the glory they're more interested in, but the struggle. Do you know how difficult it is for you to even fall in love with somebody and get married to somebody? And then when the marriage crashes, it's all over the place. Sometimes you just want a crashed marriage on a low key though. note. Mm. On a low key note. <laughs> it's time for the next topic. And like I said, it's still a relationship conversation. I saw your post though. Um, seventy percent of men are with their current girlfriends because they cannot afford better ones. And this is coming Stupid. from the um, one-time artist, now a big-time blogger. He <laughs> says not a blogger, he's an entertainer. Oh, okay. Very, very, yeah. very stupid. Okay. Why? Yeah. I'm going to say it's very, very stupid in the sense that um, there's this saying that the devil you know is better than the angel you don't know. Mm. So a lot of men are stuck with their exes, not because they cannot their afford... Their exes or their girlfriend. That's, he's talking about their girlfriend, mm. not their exes. Mm, okay, they're stuck with their girlfriend. Yeah, exes mm. sometimes become current girlfriends again. Mm. You keep going back to your exes <laughs> and they become your current girlfriend. Okay. But the reason why we get stuck to our girlfriends, I'm talking from a man's point of mm. view now, is because the angel, a the devil point. you know, mm, is better than the angel you do not know. Mm. Do you understand? Because you already know the flaws of your girlfriend. Mm. You already know the curses of the problem. You already know the solution to the problems. And then you'll be walking towards that solution. But when you start all over again, do you know what it means to date a woman for five years? And then all of a sudden, because you think, um, because I cannot afford this person, I move on to the next. No, you will still be the one to tell her, baby, I'm sorry, please come back. Okay, do you understand? <laughs> do you understand? <laughs> oh, no, please, let me say my own before you call me. Mm. So... You use the word stupid, right? Which mm. I would not naturally want to use, but because you have used that, mm. let's still maintain it. So I would not say Tunde Ed not is stupid. I did not I never said to the end. So what he said is stupid. stupid. Yeah, what, okay. So what I would not said. say what he said is stupid. I don't even think it's stupid. I don't even think it's stupid. <laughs> I think I I, I I I said this to a friend of mine and I say maybe not all men, but most men know what they want on paper. Like they know how to tell you. Mm. But at the end of the day, what they want and what they end up with are two different things entirely, mm. right? And now it is their life. They will live it and enjoy it. Mm. Now, regarding um, the fact that, um, how did you put it again? There are with people that the, they, they can afford at the moment. At the moment. I'm not going to say it's a lie. But all I will say is those Instagram models or the people you are looking up to and you feel that is the next person you feel you should be dating when you get to a certain level, mm. they are that way because of money, mm. because they are being taken care of or someone is taking mm. care of them, or because they have the best phones and best gadgets and best app to edit their pictures to mm. look that good. So that woman or that lady you are with now and you think, that's if, you're, if you have the mindset of um, the people that Tunde Ed not talking about, because mm. he said about he 70, says, oh, is that okay, 70%, says 70%, yeah. then I believe you, right now I need to tell you that you should understand that that same girl you have now can be upgraded, let me to use the word, level. to that level. By what? Give her the same money. Get her the latest iPhone 11 is coming out, Abby. <laughs> Get her, teach her how to edit it. You want her to slay on Instagram, she will slay. It just takes money. It is not cheap. See, this is a, there's Sometimes. no even if you're older. Let, let me just come mm. in here. There's no this, this thing is not difficult. It's what is everywhere already. It's very obvious. The if hair I, alone nah, one listen, is like two hundred k. Let's even <laughs> let, let's let's talk about what Tundi had not said. Now mm. I've seen men. I'm sure you've seen men. Do you understand? You can only speak for yourself, Ife. That have struggled all the way with a girl, mm -hmm. and when they get there, by the time they have that money, they now think that they need to get somebody that fits into their standard mm. because that girl no longer fits into their standard which is why sorry to cut you you continue which is mm. why i keep telling ladies even if you're struggling with a man and you're building him mm. build yourself at the same right. time so continue right if you're now let me let me just give you a short story this is like what happened to my friend and it's like true true story mm. 
Mm, not me. <laughs> <laughs> but then this this okay, this is a story. This girl and this guy have known that they've been dating for like about four years and they've story. been struggling. Go to, ahead, please. I'll and tell me been, almost yeah, up. and they've been struggling together. Mm. Now by the time the guy and got made, do you know this boy he, he didn't even hide it. He said it's straight to her. That okay, they were already having issues like yeah, you don't pick my call, you know this kind of issue. And he said, if you want my love and my attention, mm. go and start acting and dressing like those Instagram girls. He said it plain plain. Wow. And I'm like, thank God he even said it out. But the truth is, this is what is he in the mind of. No. <clears throat> okay. Like, thank God he said it out. But this is what is in the mind of most men out there. Once they are already upgraded, they already feel like they need to go for somebody higher and leave the other girl. If eh, you can only speak for yourself, this is what happens everywhere. I like when today or not, when today said 70%. I totally agree with him. Okay, so my question, because we're running out of time, my mm -hmm. question will be that what is the statistics of the 70%? How did you come up with 70%? You have is to you that you that what the one who does that? Wait, 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 wait. Mm -hmm. And then I think um, we have a stereotype mindset because mm -hmm. we believe that this is what men do. But you, like you said, I can only speak for myself, mm -hmm. right? But I can also speak for the caliber of people I'm with because I have day one friends that mm. are still with their day one chicks. Mm. Sometimes, if you say your man is with you because it's, what, it's who you can afford, some men will never leave you. Eh? I'd rather have side chicks. I'm not saying that being having a side chick is correct or cheating on your woman is correct. But you find a lot of men getting married to women that were there with them from the scratch. Do you understand? Hmm. To be, to they became that very smooth surface and everything is rosy. Yes, yeah, a lot. A, a whole lot. Mm -hmm. you, you're going to give me stories, but I'm going to give you stories about a lot of But men. it's nice to say the people you know are in the 30%. Yeah. So there's no point. No, they're not in the 30%. So they're in the 70. 70. They're in the, they're in the 80s because I know a lot of guys that have been with their day one chicks. Do so you you're saying 80% of men end up with their no, day no, one no. chicks? They, they, they do what you just said now. 80%. If I'm it, not giving you like categorically. That's why I said let's put the people mm. you are. Since Sunday has taken some Exactly, those okay. your people. Let's just put your people. What I'm saying percent. is that look, we need to get out of the stereotype mindset. It's not a stereotype. 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 It's not a